Hey, James G here. Today on Persona Studio One, we're going to discuss markers. Uh, markers are really important um, to get in the habit of doing when you first start recording. Uh, at the top of this screen here is where you're actually going to place those markers. Um, this is my uh, main template screen. If I'm going in to record a full song or anything, I already have uh, my drums, bass, guitars, keys, vocals, bus, uh, several reverbs, different types of reverbs that I use quite often. And so this is kind of my starting point now once I've set all this up. There's actually a video on how to set these folders up. If you, uh, you want to go look at it, you can. And so what I need to do now is add another section up here of where I insert my markers. So next to your add tracks is there that little plus sign. You're going to get your uh, global track visibility. You just hit that and now these are all the options of things I can add. And so we will, you know, we'll do videos on these. If there's, uh, if we don't have a video on one of these and there's one that you want to see, just leave a comment and we will film it. So here is marker. So I'm going to hit that. So now I have a marker track here. You can see it already gave me a start marker there. I believe it defaults to five minutes. So you scroll way back here in five minutes, you'll see the, the end marker uh, there. So once you're adding a new song, if you think, ah, oh, the song's going to be about three minutes, go ahead and put in three minutes and it'll kind of give you your end marker close to that. Um, it doesn't really matter because you can just move it later. Uh, but anyway, so I've got, uh, you know, all my tracks are going in here and then I want to go in and, um, you know, I've got my scratch track or whatever. I'm going to go in and do the roadmap of the song. So I go, I go to click here, said, okay, this is where the verse one starts. I hit my little plus sign here. Bam, it adds me a marker. Now, number two doesn't really mean much to me. So I'm probably going to want to double click that and I can name it whatever I want at this point. So verse one and you hit OK and now I have verse 1. So I go further on in my song to where the chorus starts. I hit my little plus sign, double click on that, and I can hit chorus. I go a little further. If I wanted to get rid of that, it would be that uh, minus symbol to get rid of it. So I plus 1, I'm going to do this again. And that is that. So you can see where you can just go and put these. Now there's several beauties of this. Once is just visually looking at it, you can scroll and go, okay, cool, here's the chorus, and then you can start recording. You can actually go down to your transport at the very bottom. You'll see this left arrow and right arrow are going to go to the previous markers here, and it just pops you right to it, especially in a six-minute song. I mean, you know, if you've got a long chorus, it, it will just, you know, it'll just take you right to that next verse, and then you go to the next chorus, and you record uh, the background vocals and that or whatever. So, I think it's a very, very important thing to do is to get these markers set up begin. Now, you're always going to have a start and end marker. The only way you can see them is to add this marker uh, bit here. Um, so you want to kind of get in the habit of doing it just for that. But then you can go in here and you can simply put your sections. It's very easy to just to double click on it, call it whatever you want, and then you have quick access to get around the entire roadmap of your song. It's very important to get to your markers. Thank you.